Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Finally, finally we are getting Awaken Ju Shiyun. Alright, so after like the longest time of waiting, uh, always thought he was a myth. Finally he's here. So let's talk about him in tomorrow's patch and what are we what can we expect overall, right? So, uh, first things first, there's nothing much outside of Awaken Joshiyun and one new unit, right? But we're gonna have the mainstream episode 7 unlocked. So this is going to be really really cool. I think it's been such a long time since we had any story, right? So to be able to basically absorb a new story or explore new story rather uh, is something that I've been looking forward to. As you can see, the operation for Vice President's Holiday event episode postscript event missions are locked. So this is the second uh, or the third part of the event rather. So there's uh, one additional one. So we're gonna have company reinforcement season punch in. We're gonna have, of course, classified recruitment, Ju Shiyun, probability up. All right, so this is going to be the first time that you can obtain him. Um, I'm not sure if players that pull for Replacer King and pull for uh, Ministra will have enough to pull for Ju Shiyun. But if you have been holding on and you would prefer Joshiyun, I would say, yeah, go ahead. Joshiyun is going to be a pretty good choice. But alongside with him, we also have Lucretia. And we're going to talk about Lucretia a little bit because I think a lot of players uh, are not aware of what she does, right? And then we have Drakesha added to the normal recruitment pool and a bunch of packages alongside with that. Let's talk about Lucretia first and then we're going to talk about Joshiyun, uh, give you guys an idea of what do I think, whether or not they are both worth it. So for Lucretia, if you're not aware, Lucretia is a very interesting unit, alright? So just think of her like a, a, a supporter that gives immortality, alright? You guys are familiar with Asterosa, you guys are familiar with Veronica. So what happens is those units, when they reach uh, below 1% HP, they get immortality, right? So Lucretia does that to your units by giving them immortality, which is pretty insane. Alright, as you can see, basic attack is pretty standard, right? But what makes her good is her passive skill. So the passive skill, you can see, Praise the false god when deployed, casting immortality buff, immunity to hit stun from special or lower uh, skills on the three foremost allies for five seconds. So it doesn't include max, unfortunately. The buff safeguards against reset. Uh, here's the thing, right? So this immortality basically gives uh, it gives this buff to three allies for five seconds. So that means the character will gain immortality buff. But in PvP, you have to time this accordingly. Obviously, in PvE, you can basically use this to cheese certain situations, but I'm not sure how viable is she in PvE. Because in PvE, you gotta leave, you wanna leave your characters for auto. Unless you plan to manual it, you plan to like time her buff, sure, then you can use her in like die 48, 49, 50, perhaps, right? To prevent your characters from dying. But in most cases, um, 5 seconds is not that long to be honest, and keep in mind this is still removable. Alright, you can still be countered by Serena crew, you can still use Yensing or Machine Collector or whoever that removes buffs to remove this entirely. As you can see, she does give attack speed as well, uh, plus 3, plus 3, plus 6, and at level 5, HP plus 10% for immortality buff targets upon buff expiration. So meaning that if you have, uh, let's say, a Serapel, and then she gets immortality buff, after the duration ends, 5%, 5 seconds ends, she will gain a minimum of 10% HP back instead of dying. So that's pretty cool, uh, the 10%, depending on how you look at it, might be a lot, might be little, but I do feel like she's going to be quite good for maybe rush teams because you send a lot of uh, you know, characters in and then you deploy her so everybody get extra 5 seconds to fight the enemy. So I think it's pretty cool for, for rush comps or rush threat. And if you think about it, right, this is also going to be quite good in PvP for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm not sure how many of you guys have been in this situation where your character has ultimate skill and then they die, right? They just die and then you're like, oh my god, that's so frustrating. Why did you not use your ultimate skill before you die? You know, especially that Awakens Yoyun or Ministra or Awaken Yuna, whoever. I'm sure you have experienced that before. And then to deploy them six costs just to use that, that um, you know, Awake the ultimate skill is like so cringe, right? It's like you, you pretty much lost the battle because they didn't use their ultimate skill. They get hit stun like crazy. So Lucretia prevents that situation from happening. All right, you get additional five seconds, and for sure, uh, since you are getting immunity to hit stun as well, I like it. All right, it's going to be it's going to uh, reduce that situation from happening more often. Okay, so let's have a look at her special skill. 
Uh, as you can see, drops holy rays onto enemies, knocking them backward with damage. The enemies lose 25% of defense for 7 seconds. Alright, so this one is pretty cool. Uh, she makes enemies lose 25% of defense, so that means she can be used in PvE as well. So that is a uh, good, pretty good uh, defense reduction, but not as insane as what Lonely provides, because Lonely provides 40%, which is pretty crazy. So 25% is still not bad uh, if you're trying to stack a lot of defense reduction. So ultimate skill opens up a path to a world of indeterminate forms, attack all enemies and decrease their attack speed by 100%. That's a lot of decrease, right? It decreased their attack speed by 100% for 5 seconds. Alright, so it doesn't include boss, and duration is half for max. So mech teams are still uh, going to be like her greatest counter, and the ultimate skill uh, attacks change to surefire at level 5. So surefire meaning that it will never miss. So again, this puts Serena a uh, crew in a better spot than she is because she is a supporter, so this character right here, Lucretia, is a supporter. So Serena crew is going to be much more used because number one, she can be paired with Lucretia easily being a supporter, and number two, she, a lot of people are going to use her in PvP, I assume. Uh, immortality buff is something that's, you know, very annoying, and having Serena crew is definitely very, very helpful in PvP right now to remove all of this annoying immortality buff, or at least you gotta have at least one a buff remover unit in your team, right? Either Machine Collector, Yen Sing, Alex, I forgot who else removed buff. Um, E1, if you count E1 special, but yeah, those characters are pretty crucial. So let's talk about Ju Xiyun. So, uh, gotta briefly explain his skills before, even though I've done this in the past, but we just quickly glance through this. So, a uh, passive skill, every fought crit attack casts a buff, alright? Incoming basic attacks trigger AoE counter attacks that first target enemies in the rare. So counter attacks, pause, crit count for 4 seconds. Nullify debuffs for the same duration. As you can see, uh, it would inflict true damage, sealing target skill for 4 seconds at level 5. So special skill, ignores damage from hit stun caused by attacks, other than ultimate skills. So ultimate skills still destroy him. Inflicts AoE damage in front, stuns target for 2 seconds. Now, this skill decreases Jushion's skill haste by 50%, but also cast perfect evasion on him for the same duration. Again, you can see he has perfect evasion, but keep in mind, it's a buff, so it can be removed still. So Serena crew might be able to counter Joshiun overall. Last but not least, the ultimate skill, again, you know, swings a sword, blah blah blah, cast perfect evasion for 12 seconds when cast, but can be removed. A uh, skill cooldown minus 6 seconds upon passive counter attacks. So I think Awakened Joshiun, you know, he is going to be quite strong in PvE, for sure. But in PvP, I do think that we have a lot of ways to deal with him. So if you guys are worried that you might not be able to, you know, um, survive in the meta, so just make sure you have your buff removers ready. Like I mentioned, Yen Sing is going to be one of the better ones, Machine Collector. Um, yeah, there's quite a number of buff removers and Serena crew if you're looking for Operator, which is like, which makes more sense, right? So I do think like those characters are going to be crucial moving forward in the next upcoming weeks for the PvP meta. I'm not sure when the next Awaken will drop, hopefully uh, Awaken Horizon. But yeah, uh, I'm excited for both Lucretia and Awaken Jushiyun. I will most likely be pulling for both of them. Uh, most likely we'll be performing some testing on both of them as well on tomorrow's stream. So I hope to see you guys there. As always, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.